Welcome back to the series, What is God Saying During the COVID-19 Pandemic? I hope you all had a wonderful Easter and you are enjoying your day right now. Today we are going to talk about humility and what that looks like. Humility is complicated. It's not thinking less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less, thinking of others more. It's a hard thing to do. I think y'all can admit we, we like to put ourselves first most of the time. And if you believe in God or don't believe in God, having the, the characteristic of humility is an amazing characteristic. It's probably something a lot of us want to strive for. It says in the word of God, the Lord opposes the proud and exalts the humble. And as we step into a season of wanting to be more humble um, in hopes and prayers that our land will be healed by this humility, um, I wanted to talk about one of the most amazing people that has ever lived who demonstrates the purest, most beautiful um, place of humility. Some of you may know who this is and some of you may not. He goes by the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was one of the most humble human beings that has ever walked the planet. He came and he served. He was one that served and laid down his life for others. He didn't come to get, but he came to give and he gave, he loved. He loved the unlovable. He loved the demon-possessed woman. He loved the murderer, the cheat, and he chose them. He chose them. And you might ask, why would he choose them? They deserve, they deserve jail time. They deserve wrath. They deserve the worst. They don't deserve love and grace, but that's the humility and love that Jesus Christ came to give. He came to give forgiveness and grace and love. He didn't just do signs and miracles and, and heal people who were dead and sick, but he chose to lay down his life and he went to the cross. He hung on a cross that was meant for a sinner, but he lived a sinless life. He laid down his life for you. He laid down his life for me. He laid down his life so we may live. He took on the wrath that we deserved in our sin and he wiped it away. He forgave it. He took it on the cross. <laughs> and as we just celebrated Easter, he didn't just die a death that he did not deserve, but he proved himself to be God by raising himself from the dead and many witnessed it, many witnessed it. I had a dream once of finding my sister Crystal dead. Well, I did find her dead. I found my sister Crystal dead and I had a dream of seeing her in the marketplace real. I saw her walking around in the marketplace and, and I didn't know what to do. I was like, everyone was at the funeral. Everyone saw her dead, but now she's walking around. Now she's walking around the earth. What am I supposed to do? I, I can't, I have to talk about this, but people are going to think I'm crazy, but I saw her. I touched her. I touched her real flesh and friends and family. This is why the gospel is spreading around the entire world because many saw Jesus walking here on the earth after they saw him die and brutally crucified. Then they saw him risen from the dead and they saw his wounds. They saw his wounds where he was pierced. <sighs> his love is absolutely amazing, Jesus' love. And this faith of believing in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior isn't a faith that requires works to be saved. It's not a faith that comes from what people do and how people sin but it's a faith that comes from the fact that our God chose to die for us. And there's no other faith out there where their God died for them and forgave them and didn't require them to do any works just to believe in his love and his mercy and his grace. That's it. That's it. And so I don't know where you're at right now. And I know maybe you're, you might just not be able to understand this type of love, but it's not my job to make you believe. God will find you in that secret place, maybe up in your attic, maybe in your room, 
My heart is just that you feel and know how radically loved you are by the God that came so humbly for you. He came so humbly for you and he just wants to give. He just wants to give love. He doesn't want to take anything away from you. He just wants to love you and he just wants you to receive that. And so that's my little lesson teaching on humility. Again, maybe we all can try to walk more humble as we draw close to Jesus, the man, the God who loves us in our sin. <laughs> the next topic I'm going to talk about is going to be a beautiful topic just like this. It's actually going to be about what Jesus calls the church to look like, who he calls his disciples to be. Jesus didn't come so we would follow man. Jesus came so we would follow him and live a life of love. <laughs> so it's a beautiful, beautiful story. And I look forward to seeing you on the other side as we learn together who we should look, up, look like as we follow Jesus. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day.